All right, this is the uh, follow-up to our free pick from last night, GCI. Um, you see the setup here. This is what the chart looked like before, uh, or last night when we called it. Had the inside candle here, and then a, a base break possible if it broke yesterday's high. Uh, so 13.19 was our first catalyst. 13.29 um, should have been a secondary catalyst, and then a, a clean base break here on the daily candles of 13.31. Let me add in today's candle. And we did get a nice break. I didn't quite make it all the way to 14, maybe tomorrow, but uh, certainly a nice move. Now, as we say, I'm going to follow up these videos with what I did with it. Now, here's the irony. Uh, I didn't do anything with a, G a GCI simply because I kind of have a rule that if something triggers in the first five minutes, in other words, hits one of our catalyst prices, um, in this case, 1319, I like to step aside and wait and see if I can catch an early pullback or something because oftentimes there's a lot of fake outs in the market. Now, the, the market was up huge today and a lot of stuff just took off and ran. Usually, I hate a day like today. It's very tough to find an entry unless, you know, you just guess at the open and buy something. So, I don't do that ever because uh, risk reward is real important to me and stocks can whip around so much as can the market in the first 30 minutes or so. So, GCI, I completely missed. I'm thrilled if any of you made money on it though, uh, grabbing it at 1319. It did make it all the way to uh, 1367, something like that. Uh, hardly deserve a guru title for that because, uh, you know, probably everything ran this morning. But what I was left with was, you know, trying to wait and find low risk setups because that's that's what I that's what I teach and that's what we do. So uh, I was actually thrilled today that we found some and I'll share those with you. But congrats if you made money on GCI. You actually did it without me. Um, having said that, I'll show you a couple that we call today. Target TGT had a nice gap up into space today. Um, and then so on this pullback here, using a technique that we teach and is fast becoming kind of a room favorite, we call target at 57.31, uh, somewhere around in here, with a worst case stop 7 cents below. Uh, so yeah, actually my arrow should be about right here, and the worst case stop was right there. 7 cents risk per share never got stopped out, and from 57.31 went all the way to 58. Uh, 15 for an 84 cent move in our favor on 7 cents risk and as you can see after the trigger just never looked back so there was never even a danger of getting stopped out and we just scaled out all the way up so that, that was a nice one um, Green Mountain Coffee was another one uh, using a technique that really the same technique that we used on target uh, we called GMCR right at 36 right that is the worst arrow maybe I've ever drawn but right at 36 worst case stop 16 cents below, right below this little tail here, and that that never got hit. And uh, from 36, it went to 36.99. So basically, a dollar move on 16 cents risk. Uh, we had some other ones, but those are the big highlights, the ones that moved decent. And uh, pretty proud of, of those because today, usually the the type of action the market had today uh, leaves you sitting there watching with that deer in the headlight look because the market just runs away from you unless you just buy the open. And again, I I teach people not to do that, and I don't do that. So. Um, I'm going to share one other one with you. Bank of America wasn't a huge move, but I, I'll tell you why I liked it, and this is why I called it. Uh, looking at it yesterday, BAC, okay, I had huge volume and broke below this 11 that it hit back in October, okay, broke below on big volume. In my opinion, um, you had some late shorts here trying to make the easy money because this wasn't breaking out of a long base to the downside, but it had just moved like this going into the breakdown. So to me, these are uh, people, weak hands, trying to make easy money, thinking, oh, we break that October low, uh, you know, it's going to tank. It's going to zero or whatever. You know how people think. So uh, this was definitely um, shorts chasing, trying to make easy money, in my opinion. And then today they wake up and uh, BAC gaps up. Okay. Now, uh, again, I think you sucked in some more shorts here, thinking, well, you know, the market's strong, but BAC, because of everything I've heard, is going to zero. And so you had more shorts. And then when I discovered it, this afternoon, it looked like this. Okay, you had an afternoon spike to 11.15. The early high of the day is 11.18. So the thinking here is, you break 11.18, uh, these, all these late shorts from yesterday and these shorts today trying to make the easy money, um, they're gonna start to panic and have to cover if it breaks the high of the day. So this had what I like is a nice tight base with the high of day still to the left. So we can buy this base break uh, with a good chance that the momentum from this base break takes us through the high of the day. And uh, another great thing about the base is you can uh, put your stop right below it. Um, 
So originally I called this at 1116. I said if it breaks this high, 1116, um, good chance you get to 1119, and then a good chance shorts start to cover a little bit. So, and in BAC, it was liquid enough. It traded like 80 billion shares today or something. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but still, it uh, traded huge. Um, liquid enough, you could have had as much as you wanted. Well, when I put in this little tight base right below 1115, remember 1116 is my trigger, but I went ahead and nibbled at 1115 right there because it was breaking kind of a mini base with this you know, stacked catalyst here, this high and then the high of the day. So I went ahead and uh, told the room I was nibbling at 1115 and I would add at 1116. And the beauty of it was my stop was below this tight base at uh, 1111. So I grabbed 1115 with a four cent stop and then I got my 11.16 break, and then I got my through the high of the day, and then the squeeze started. And not a huge squeeze, but certainly worked and went all the way to 11.30. So, yeah, that's only a 15 cent move, but you could have had as much as you wanted with the Bank of America. And the idea paid off and a four cent risk. So, you know, again, not much to brag about, but I still thought I would share the idea of the trade with you. So, anyway, I'm going to quit babbling, and uh, we'll follow up next week with another free pick. Have a great night.